All right, y'all, what's good, you too? So today we're going to be doing, we're we going to be walking around the gym. As y'all see, we at the gym right now. I got my camera lady with me. <clears throat> I got my camera lady with me right now. We're going to be asking people, like, telling them their story about how they started going to the gym and started working out. Um, make sure I hit that like button, hit that sub button. And we doing nothing but interviews for the rest of this channel, folks. No more vlogs and all that extra bullshit until um, my birthday come. My birthday will be coming next week, folks. So make, make sure y'all wish a young, uh, a young nigga happy birthday in the comments, man. Yeah, I'm not dropping a cash app. That's just lame. But, <laughs> all right. Is it just you and me? Alright, y'all, right now we're about to go to the basketball court. We're gonna ask people, we're gonna find our first victim in the basketball court, man. Let's go, man. Oh, gee. What up, man? <laughs> Alright, y'all, we're gonna go to the basketball court. Good these week, man. Hey, show, show these weak ass niggas in the basketball court, man. Show these weak ass niggas for it. Bones as hell. Bones as hell. Weak as hell. Air, you weak as fuck. Air, you weak, you weak as hell. Hey, man, I got a question for you, bro. Alright, y'all, today I'm here with Aaron. All right, y'all. So today I'm here with my boy Aaron. He busting his ass at all the time in 32s, folks. But I just, <laughs> but I just want to know, like, what started you to get into the gym? Cause you big as shit. So I just want to know, like, what started you to get into the gym? Well, honestly, it was low key. I was bullied in high school, so I got tired of that. I got tired of being weak. And basically, every day I worked out from home, looking at commercials of different types of workouts from different people. That's real famous on Instagram. Uh, Sean T, the P90X, all of that different stuff. I did the workouts that I saw from TV, and I applied it to what I remember from doing martial arts, martial arts as a kid. I just kept consistent with it, learned about dieting, started getting into powerlifting and bodybuilding. And from there, from that time at, what, I want to say 15, 16 years old to being 29 right now, my body's definitely changed all over the years because of me being consistent and me motivating myself even when it was hard i just kept at it oh bro so like for like the for like the kids like like for like younger people that's trying to like get big as fuck like you like like what <laughs> like what advice do you got for them shoot eat eat i knew you was gonna say that shit i knew you was gonna say that shit everybody who big like this they always say eat bro every single time bro i mean it's the truth i mean i have star in the kitchen you feel me? So you gotta eat, you gotta be consistent with a pretty good diet. If you're not dieting like you want to, like you're supposed to, you, it's gonna be hard for you to get results. You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat, you gotta be consistent, you know, and you actually gotta work out the right way. So if you don't know, I mean, ask some people that you know in the gym that can help you out, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to ask questions. The worst questions are the questions that's not asked. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, do that, and then also use YouTube. YouTube is a good platform for anybody and everybody to use to further themselves when it comes to the gym and any and everything. So definitely do that. Um, bro, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Good looking, man. Good looking, man. Yes, Be smooth, folks. All right, y'all. Now we. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with John Motley. All right, John. So it's nice to meet you, man. So today's question is: What started you to get to working out the way you are? I used to watch uh, working out videos and uh, like bodylifting competitions, so that's kind of what got me into it. On um, bro, on um, bro. So like, so like, did you have any like like childhood like experiences that made you want to be like, okay, oh, yeah, I want to get bigger? Uh, watching like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like doing his bodybuilding competition. You know, I kind of wanted to get into it after that. On so. um, bro, on um, bro. That's a good answer, bro. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with Rob. All right, Rob, it's nice to meet you, man. Appreciate you for your time. So today I'm going to be asking you, what basically inspired you to go to the gym, like how you be going now? Um, I was just really inspired just to, like, work on my body better, to feel good in my body, and just to, like, you know, just get bigger and get muscular, you know, to get athletic for sports and stuff like that. Um, bro, so, like, do you think it's more so, like, discipline or motivation? Um, it's a little bit of both. You need to have discipline and motivation to go to the gym because discipline is to make sure you do it like every day consistently. And then like motivation, you got to find yourself and motivate yourself. Uh, usually you'll have a partner. You got to motivate yourself by yourself and not yet. Um, bro, so uh, last question is like you got like an idol on anybody that like made you start wanting to work out? Um, not really. Um, if I had to idolize, it was my dad and my brother. They've been like very built and very strong, like for like their whole lives. So I'm just trying to catch up to them, really. So that's what's um, bro, I feel you. So like, my bad. Last question. <laughs> Last question. So, what is like something that you got to say for the people who just like don't go to the gym at all? Like, who, 
who like have an excuse for everything like what you got to say to them um i would just say like you know try to just find your motivation honestly um you know, it's you. You know, you just don't really feel like it. There's be some days you just don't really even want to go to the gym, but you just find your motivation. You'll find it. And plus, uh, just get to the gym. Once you get to the gym, you'll feel like you're right at home. You'll go right into it, and then it'll be over before you know it. So just get yourself, push yourself, and be better. Oh, bro, sometimes you just gotta force yourself, man. But hey, I appreciate you for your time, man. Yeah, Thank no you, man. Thank you, appreciate man. you. Yeah, no problem, man. It. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with Ani. All right, Ani, it's nice to meet you. Appreciate you for your time. So today I'm gonna be asking you. So what started you like to go into the gym, like the way that you go now? Um, I just really wanted to go. I, um, I kept saying I wanted to go. And, like, you know, I first started going with a group, and then when they wouldn't go, I'd be like, fuck, you know. So I just started going by myself. And, I don't know, I just wanted to go. So, like, when you was a kid or whatever case may be, so, like, how, how old are you? I'm 24. 24. So, like, when you was, like, younger, because I know a lot of people have, like, high school experiences. Like, people used to bully them, this, that, and the third. And that's, like, how, what kind of, like, pushed them to go through to the gym so like you got anything like that you need to tell us or not oh uh, yeah i did get bullied um i actually dropped out because i got bullied and i mean i was really skinny i feel like i wanted to get thicker and stuff but i don't think that's why i got bullied maybe it was i don't know that's probably I mean, yeah that's why <laughs> that's why a lot of females be getting bullied especially in high school too yeah it's a cold cold world out here y'all but i i oh yeah do you got anybody that like motivated you to do this um if you know on tiktok this girl named lena I don't know. know she Lena, this girl named Lena on TikTok. She, I, I forgot her. It's like Lena V or something, but I like her. She be working out crazy, and I like her. Every time I see her work out, I'm like, got to do that. Bro, bro, everybody got a motivation, bro. You feel me? Y'all just got to find yours. If y'all don't go to the gym, make sure y'all start going to the gym, bro. But hey, I appreciate you for your time, though. Thank you. Thank you, you too. All right, y'all. Today, I'm here with, what's your name? Chico. Chico, I bet. Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate you for your time. So today's question is, what started you working out the way that you work out now? I've been doing this all my life, bro. I boxed for 26 years, and then after I was in boxing, I started working out. Like right now, I'm recovering from a shoulder surgery, so I'm trying to get back into it. Damn, so is it shoulder surgery. So, like, who's your idol for like boxing? Canelo, you know it's Canelo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so like, all right, so one more question. So, who's your idol for like working out like in the gym and shit? Uh, I don't know. You ever heard of Big Boy? No, no. I look at him. He got him. Because this guy was locked up for years and years and years. He was a nobody. Yeah. This guy came out. He's got his own clothing line, his own supplement company. The guy came up. So he came from nothing. You know what I mean? Bro. That's why I look up to him. Big boy. Oh, bro, big boy. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with Will. All right, Ben. Nice to meet you, man. I appreciate you for your time. So today's question is, what got you started working out to the gym like how you are today? You know, just trying to stay motivated, trying to get bigger. I'm trying to get to 180 right now. Right now, I'm like 165, so I'm trying to get to 180. You know, just trying to stay motivated. It eats my mind. Take a lot of stuff off my mind. Oh, um, bro, so, like, so like, did you have any, like, childhood experiences, like, bad experiences that made you want to? Because I know a lot of people, like, the first dude we interview, he said he was getting bullied in high school. Like, is there anything, like, similar to that that made you, uh, made you want to get big? No, nah, my pops used to be big as ever, like, lifting, like, three plates at a time. You know, just growing up in the hood, you know, just trying to get in a different environment, you know, just try to take stuff off my mind and stuff like that. I bet on bro, on bro. I appreciate you for your time, man. That's it, man. Appreciate right, it, bro. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with Felix and Damien. All right, y'all. Nice, nice to meet y'all. Appreciate y'all for y'all time. So today I'm going to be asking y'all basically what inspired y'all to go to the gym the way that y'all go now? Honestly, bro, it's just more about commitment, discipline, you know, to myself, holding myself accountable and just trying to be as fit as possible, man. Bro. I think it's that physique that you really want. You know, that image of, as a man, just having, you know, the abs, the arms, the shoulders, like, yeah, it's like, it's like what you want, you know? Yeah. So, I think image is really important, and putting in the work is like, can make you really successful, because you start committing to what you're doing, you stay focused, and then it keeps you out, keeps you away from the streets, it keeps you locked in into what you need to be at, so... Hell yeah, you was right about. It. I feel the one, but keep you out of the streets, bro. Like a lot of people who like doing all that goofy shit, bro. Knowing they didn't grow up like that, bro, they need to be their ass in the gym somewhere, bro, or in school or doing something, bro. But uh, last question is like, who like y'all got like a role model or anybody who like inspired y'all to start, you know, going to the gym? Mm, to be honest, bro. I mean, in high school, I feel like we were always like skinny guys. I know because I grew up with him, you know, because 
we've been playing soccer our whole lives, so we've always been pretty small kids. Yeah. So just playing against older kids all the time, we would get like kind of like bodied, you know, and like it, it just sucks. It sucks, you know. So, you know, we just told ourselves that, you know, eventually we were going to keep getting bigger, stronger and just building ourselves up little by little. Feel me? Bro. Yeah. Me personally, well, we both played travel soccer our whole life. Mm -hmm. I was D1 athlete. He had opportunity as well. He just chose school. So as D1 athletes, like, I say the gym is, like, what we love to do, you know. Our whole life we've been working. So it's all about just focus on working out, wanting the right path, pretty much working. Um, bro, that's just, that's just like what he said, like like with being like getting body and shit. That go for every sport, bro. Especially basketball, bro. Like, bro, it go for every sport, bro. If you little, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna get your last move. You gonna get your last move, bro. Cause I be getting moved and I'm strong, but like I be getting moved by people who look. Sk it don't matter, like like if you look big, I ain't gonna lie. That shit don't mean nothing. Like in sports, it all matter about like your weight mass and all that stuff like that. So, um, bro, I appreciate y'all for y'all time, man. Sure, bro. Appreciate, appreciate it, it, man. Appreciate it, man. Good looking, y'all. All right, y'all. Today I'm here with. Taylor. All right, Taylor. So today I'm going to just be asking you, like, what started you to go to the gym like the way that you be going now? Mm, to be honest, because uh, I used to go to, when I used to go to high school and we used to do track and basketball and dance. And then I got out of high school and I just became undisciplined and just got kind of kind of thick in the area. You feel me? Kind of thick in this area. And, you know, just looking back at the body I used to have and everything, I just want it back. So I want to start going to the gym and get that, to get, get that core back, you know? On um, bro, on um, bro. So, like, do you got, like, anybody who inspire you? Like, a motivational speaker, like, anybody that inspire you about going to the gym? You know, Asia Wilson? I do not. I don't know, like, none of the, like, I don't know all the fuck, I don't know, like, the influencers and shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. She's not influenced. She WNBA. Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't watch the WNBA. So Asia Wilson, she on the Aces. So she work out. She's like tall. She work out all the time, and she just she look good. That's just the body that I want. I want to look like her. Kind of like Megan Thee Stallion too, cause you know she thick. She Megan Thee Stallion is thick as shit. Like ridiculously thick as shit. So she's a fucking <laughs> stallion for real. Lord have mercy. And it's just like the way she look, cause she slim thick and it's like, you know, I'm slight way there, but I just want that, that slimness that she got. So. Um, bro, um, bro. Appreciate you for your time, Tay Tay. Appreciate yeah, you. <laughs>